Excel Chat walkthrough video. I'm your host, Kevin Kelly, and today we're going to talk about using uh, count if in order to rank items in a data sheet. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, as you can see in my Excel Chat article here, we're going to try to rank these um, teams here uh, based on certain criteria, points, goals, difference. Um, and the thing about Excel is that it has a rank function, and, and that's just the rank function, um, capital R. A and K, uh, but the problem is, is that uh, when there's duplicate data, it'll oftentimes screw up and it'll give you a false answer or a false ranking. So we're just gonna show you how to um, basically avoid making that mistake. Um, so in, th <clears throat> in this case here, we want to rank these teams by points um, and just put the rankings here. And we have the whole formula here. And since it's a little bit to copy down, I'm just going to copy and paste it uh, into our box here. And then we'll walk through it, um, kind of how it works. So I'm going to hit enter and then I'll drag this down. OK, so let's walk through the formula here. Uh, it's another count if formula, and if you've watched previous videos, we've gone over this before, but uh, for those of you who haven't watched the previous videos, uh, as you can see here, the range is uh, the points. That's our uh, range that we're basically going to rank these teams off of, and then we're setting the criteria. So we're saying it has to be above B2, and B2, I know you can't see it there, but uh, I believe it was 32, 32 points. Um, and then we're adding plus count if uh, B2 to B2, uh, this one is anchored to comma B2. So this basically just means that um, if there's duplicate teams, so let's say there's another team that's equal to 32, then they can't just be ranked the same. They, they have to be, there has to be some sort of criteria or they're, they're just going to be ranked consecutively. Um, so as we hit enter, uh, we see that Excel has ranked this for us. Um, the number one team is Glamour Boys with 38 points. And as you go down the list, uh, Morning Glory with 35, you can see that it's ranked according to points uh, greatest to least. So that is how you do that. Um, moving right along, um, let's say that we're using multiple criteria. So now in this scenario, we're not only going to go off of points, but we also want to go off of gold differential. So if there's ever a scenario like this one here between Bento All-Stars and Blizzone Warriors, where they have the same number of points, one of them is still better than the other, and that would be Blizzone Warriors because they have a one gold differential. So we want that to be reflected uh, in this in, in, in our rankings, as you can see, Bento is actually ranked above Blazone, even though that's not correct. So we're going to fix that up real quick by adding two criteria. So what we're going to do is, again, we'll copy this over and then we'll walk through it. Okay. So as you can see here, um, it's done the rankings for us, and it's correctly correctly switched Blazone and Bento uh, into their proper rankings. And that's because we added the gold difference as a criteria. And as we're walking through this, you can see that, okay, it's ranked. Uh, this is pretty similar to the formula that we had before. Um, but now this count if function is the uh, one where we're saying, okay, we also want to factor in gold differential. And that's right here. And that's why we're selecting this range. And we're making sure that it's greater than C2 which is one. And that's how we're basically saying, okay, uh, we wanna rank these based on points, and then we also wanna rank them based on gold difference if they are equal in points, okay? So pretty straightforward. The formulas can get a little bit complicated, but when you're ranking things, you do have to add you know, certain criteria. You don't wanna have duplicates, and you want them to be accurate. So it's definitely worth, it, worth the time to practice these formulas a little bit. Uh, and lastly, we want to rank in ascending order uh, using the count if function. So in this case, we are uh, ranking sales among these teams. So let's say these are these are Jersey, Jersey sales, and we want to rank them in ascending order. So the way that you do that versus traditional descending order is we'll put that in there and we'll walk it through. So as you can see here, we use count if again, we selected our range, and in this case, we're doing less, uh, uh, yeah, excuse me, we're doing less than B2, um, plus count if not equal. So this less than signature here just means that we're using um, ascending order instead of descending. Um, so just kind of switches it on its back and puts it in, in, in a reverse order or, you know, ascending order. So as you can see, the team with the most sales is actually ranked number six 
And then as you go down the list, you get to the smallest one, which is Bento All-Stars at 2150 and the ranked one because we're in ascending order. So uh, just a flip of the greater than sign or the less than sign, and that will get you an ascending order ranking. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel Chat.